aka Jesus fucking Christ what happened to your fucking head? I'm finna throw this pack of barbecue in the mail and take off on yo ass. What's up main hust head ass nigga this thing here head ass nigga Aladdin wish lamp head ass nigga football head ass nigga heel head ass nigga hockey stick tip head ass nigga barbecue bean head ass nigga. Come on main BET award head ass nigga boomerang head ass nigga scream head ass nigga speed race car head ass nigga KFC wedge head ass nigga Mac tonight head ass nigga. Thought I was gone forget wasn't it PT cruiser head ass nigga Batmobile head ass nigga my head head ass nigga sharp elbow head ass nigga pterodactyl head ass nigga you some what related to these girls ain't it? Frozone looking ass nigga Jay Leno head ass nigga moon pie head ass nigga poorly cut slice of pizza head ass nigga. Since you named a baby pacifier tip head ass nigga you let they nose put you in a headlock in it? Recliner seat head ass nigga shark fin head ass nigga rocket head ass nigga bicycle seat head ass nigga jubilant chalk. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. Um, and this is... Old school shit. Um, uh, put out a video today. It was uh, disturbing. Um, you probably just saw it. Um, see... That's that 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 that's real street shit right there. That's real gangster shit. That's real deal gangster shit. And 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 what we gotta understand is this what we love. You know what I'm saying? This this what this what's real. This what it really looked like. Oh, and I, I I love when when this type of shit get recorded. Um, I love when when we get a, a, a artist get killed or some real gangster shit or you know a bitch get shot and we see and we actually get or a nigga go to jail forever. You know what I'm saying? And we really get to see what niggas is talking about in these songs because you love this shit when niggas, you know what I'm saying? You tell kids shit, whack a nigga with his baby mom, won't let nobody live but the baby. You know what I'm saying? Just, you love this shit. Like that shit gangster as fuck. That shit ride like a motherfucker. And then you'll see this. And you'll have all these motherfucking words like that bullshit. Ah, oh, man, what the fuck kind of nigga you is? Nah, them is real street niggas right there. Fuck the dumb shit. Them is real street niggas. Like, niggas could have just, you know what I'm saying, just pulled up on side of motherfucker and just, you know what I'm saying, let them have it. These niggas had handguns. Niggas shot, pulled down the street to get some more in to finish the job. Like, the only thing more gangster than what they did would have been for them niggas to get the fuck out the car and walk niggas down. That's the only thing that would be more gangster than that. Pure point blank, ain't no way that you claim to be any type of street nigga and you can't respect that. Because what happens here is, just like, and that, that's why I'm so happy that I'm able uh, now to, to to talk to people like Cam Cohart. If you haven't seen the Cam Cohart interview uh, where he explains how the baby just, you know, set the whole shit up to make it look like he was the actual bully and shit like that with his fucking Nigerian security, how... Cam was in the store buying his fucking belt. Niggas walk up on either side of him and just stay him down on some whole shit. Niggas see what, and then the nigga, the security guard had the camera like the baby was pose to sneak him and shit like that. So he peeked the play, come back, and now he start recording. But the way we see it, Cam pulled up on them niggas and was bullying them when that was not the fucking case. Just like this right here, or just like with the Lil Reese's situation. And I'm going to do that video, actually, where I show how Lil Reese uh, beat a girl up in a hotel or a room or party or whatever the fuck. And now he get beat up and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and now everybody, uh, niggas, oh, wow, well, we got to stop the violence. No, 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 no. See, you want this shit just to be one way. This shit go both ways. When you do something, there's a fucking reaction. That's just the law of nature. Um, every, every action has a um, opposite but equal. Reaction. You can tell when it's people or when it's animals. By the way, it bought. So, in order for something like this to take place... It went like, dog, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard to see what this is. You chilling on the back street. It's all good. You didn't hit the man and shit like that. Y'all winning. Y'all up. And then the goddamn Grim Reaper come in real life. Not the, 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 the bullshit DJ Academics Grim Reaper. I'm talking the real Grim Reaper. 
where somebody has to die here. Someone has to die here. And and I'm going to get to the point where, sweetheart, uh, this is where you have to pick and choose. This is why you pick and choose who you procreate with very carefully. Not just because this, ah, no, no. This is why. Because when I'm in the street, and you know I sell dope. Like, you know I'm out here taking shit from niggas. But because you don't never really have to see it, see it like that. All you see is the money come back or, or you know, whatever the fuck. Or the, the, the most you might have to do is just, you know, hide the dope in your pussy or, you know, uh, take take some over here right fast and shit. You feel like you're on the outskirts of it, not understanding that anything in the proximity is fair game. Oh, shit. That's grand great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App. We got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page. So that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Man 2 t-shirt or the... Big Face Podcast, Scullies. Scullies go for 10. The Men 2 shirts go for 20. The uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200. And those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction. And I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do. Yada, yada, yada. And we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog. I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on... Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. And you hear it in every song you play. Any rap song that you play that you hear played in the club right now is gonna let you know. Anything is fair game, nigga. You do something to me, I'm wiping your whole family out. What the fuck you think that mean, nigga? The fuck you think that mean, dog? That's play play? No, dog. These niggas, these rappers, no, they not with that shit. But they're romanticizing something that is horrible and it's terrifying. And if you've ever been through this shit... You can't even hear music the same way. You can't hear it the same way. You can, you know, you can, you can, you know what I'm saying, bop and kind of go back on the memories, but you can't go too deep into it because it'll take you to a different place. But uh, let's let's get back to it. Um, This is gangster shit. This is what happened. So you didn't hit the nigga. So whether you didn't hit this nigga for, you know, four ounces or, or, you know what I'm saying? You didn't shot one of his little brothers or something like that. This is what come with it. This when you trying to get your name up, this, like nigga, the fuck you think we going inside, nigga? Nah, nigga, I'm out here. Right? You can see the nigga with the car when he the nigga who um in the black car pulled up in the he pulled off in the black car look like he you know what I'm saying, got his shit together pretty much. But see that street money, that street money don't convert over to real life money. That's a whole nother story. But you living good off the streets. And that's why you feel like you'll get the illusion that the streets is on your side because you're doing so well monetarily off the street. But spiritually, you're being destroyed. You're being desensitized to shit that you should cry about. 
the first time a child sees violence or even hears uh, a father and mother uh, arguing or sees a uh, uh, terminator on the TV, the child gets scared. That's a, that's a natural reaction to violence. We become so desensitized to it that when we see it, it doesn't even bother us. We might even laugh at it. In the streets, it, it just t it's just ten times worse. Because not only do you become desensitized to it, you kind of become attracted to that violence. That type of violence is what's going to keep me alive out here. That nigga who just hopped out that car, the ugly ass nigga, I, I should have had a pictures too of this motherfucker. That nigga right there, he has real dear respect in the street. Niggas don't fuck over them. Niggas don't play with them. You played and you laid. It's just... Niggas be having these type of sayings and shit like that. Oh, you play, you lay. But niggas don't mean that shit. They don't mean it. So when you see a nigga who really mean it, and that's why you got to stay in your lane, my nigga. If you just a, you, you, you out this bitch just trying to get your name up, you just trying to get your name up, so you think you're going to fuck with these niggas thinking that these niggas is retired, because that's what happened a lot. It might be a nigga that, that his, his legend is real. He solidified. He done did his prison time. You know what I'm saying? Really didn't put work in in the street. Not just fighting, nigga. I'm trying really with that iron. But now he didn't, when he came home, he got him a little nine to five. A little bullshit nine to five. And he been out of action so long, you think a nigga won't put that monkey suit on no more. So now you think it's okay. And it's going to happen. And that's, that's how the streets betray you. When you in the streets, it, it's just, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're doing the devil's work, you know, you might... Bullets might miss you and shit like that. They'll miss you. But as soon as you try to goddamn do the right thing, that's when motherfucking um, karma will come back. So this nigga here, working a job, little hungry, Howard bullshit job, but that's all he can get because he a, a violent felon. Niggas and played with his little brother. Who's the fucking say that? These ain't the niggas who murdered his little brother some shit like that. See, that's what I'm saying. We we go for whoever we see on camera first. Me, when I see shit, I'm like, okay, what made this take place? That's why I'm embarrassed about myself for even going with that baby, knowing that the baby is a fuck nigga, and, and even believing that this nigga was in the right. Why in the fuck would y'all bring that shit back up here? Hold on a second. A nigga personality will tell you so much. You know what I'm saying? It's just in a motherfucker to be a fuck nigga. So what we see here is the after effect of something. This right here ain't no motherfucking, uh, we finna go out this motherfucking goddamn nigga wasn't trying to rob nothing. That was straight retaliation. That was an effect of a cause. So what you did at nighttime, y'all all like that bitch, y'all celebrating like niggas don't know where y'all be at. And that's what niggas, you know where the fuck I'm at, nigga. Right here, nigga, you know where the fuck I'm at, nigga. Pull up, fuck, nigga. And niggas tell you like, nigga, we the one, we the pull up, we the scoot up game. We are really pull up about this shit. And it's all fun and games and take, and that's all I'm saying. You niggas see this shit and you're like, what the fuck, man? All that, what's the out, out? Outraged by what? This is gangster shit. This is what's supposed to go on. This is real gang shit. A fuck period. Y'all niggas is on that GD shit. We on that BD shit, nigga. The fuck off the block, nigga. We taking anything down. Anything out this bitch, nigga, gonna fall. Nigga. Fuck is you talking about? And nigga mean that shit. And nigga mean that shit. That's what we on. But nah, niggas don't, nah. See, you want that, you want that rap shit. You know what I'm saying? You want that rap shit. No, nah, nigga. If you not all the way about this shit, how them nigga pulled up like that, my nigga get the fuck out the street, man. Stop fucking playing out here. Nigga, if you got any dope on your person, a nigga can do that to you for any fucking reason. It don't matter. If you got any, ain't shit, ain't nothing fair out here in the street. Anything is fair game. I'm trying, nigga, you got, if I respect you, any runner you got this bitch, anybody you got this bitch representing your dope, 
Meaning you the plug and you got these, you know, you might got little kids out here. You know what I'm saying? I can take, I can, I can lay these motherfuckers down. I really feel it. Like, like if I'm on that type of shit, I can lay every one of your fucking workers down and make you come outside or make your egg the fuck out the way. This the streets, dog. And 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 so when we when we start going into this whole, ah, oh, that's fucked up. Fuck no, dog. It's either gangster or it's not. So if you don't want this type of shit to take place with you, then get the fuck out of the street, man. If you not willing to meet a nigga's violence where it's at, get the fuck out of the street. Because everybody's not going to want to fight. It's little skinny niggas who can't bump a lick, but will pick up that motherfucking tool and go to work, man. And then, and, and we'll, you know, I'm not going to go into the, you know, what happens in the courtroom and interrogation room and shit like that. Niggas show who the fuck they are. But on the street, this is what take, that's all I'm talking about right now is on the street. Because, see, the interrogation room and police officers and the courtroom and the jurors and the prosecutor can't help nobody on this block. The only thing that can help these niggas is they two fucking feet and they motherfucking will to live. But let's get to what's really going on. <clears throat> all, all my ladies out here uh, listening to Suki Hana, listening to the City Girls, Cardi B, uh, or that other girl I showed y'all on the motherfucking thing, uh, was that Ken the Man, let you know that they want street niggas, uh, fucking on the rich, eh? I don't even want to say this shit, you know what I'm saying? All that good shit. Who lets you know that I don't if you're not no street nigga, if you're not no gangster, I don't want to fuck with you. This is what it is. And see, as I'm speaking to you ladies, you thinking the shit just rap. But you see the whole thing is, how can it be rap? How can it just be rap when you're living by this shit? The same shit that these hoes be wearing, this long ass, retarded ass nails. The bullshit weaves, getting your face beat the fuck up to where you hide your fucking identity, getting a fake ass and a fake titty so that you can attract a nigga with money, not giving a fuck how the fuck he gets it. This is how the fuck you get it. This how you get it. You know, you know who this nigga is. You know this nigga ain't no motherfucking doctor, lawyer, uh, 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 carpenter. Nigga don't do no roofing and shit like that. You know this a fucking gangster. He got a name around the city. That nigga take shit. That nigga lay shit down. Whatever the fuck it is he do, you know what the fuck it is. Even if he sell dope. You understand what the fuck it is out here, nigga. If you, not, if you ain't got the heart to protect that shit, you don't belong out this bitch. And you should be able to tell if you fuck with a nigga like that. But let's just say what this is. So this nigga then took something from these nigga across and you still like, in your mind, first off, first off, first off. Going too fast. <clears throat> you listen to Suki Hano. You listen to the Megan the Stallion. And they let you know not to fuck with no broke nigga. They let you know what criteria of nigga to fuck with. I heard Megan the Stallion just had to pay for uh the funeral of somebody that got shot outside her show. That, that, that's 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 not where we at. I'm asking a question. If this girl would have made it back to her car, or fuck it, if we went in that girl's phone that was killed, that had to be picked up and put in the car, with her baby still on the ground, what songs do you think that she frequented? What 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 artists do you think she fucked with the hardest? You think she fucked with uh, Janelle Monet, Erica Badu, Indiari, or you think she fucked with the City Girls, Cardi B, Suki Hana, Megan Thee Stallion? Motherfucker, she can relate to, cause she like the street niggas, the gangster niggas, the niggas who actually gotta keep eyeing on them, who really get money out the streets. Who really take shit out the streets. Like it's, it's a different level. When you. It's a, it's a different heart. You have to have. To take something from a nigga. And to sell something to niggas. You can be a good hearted dope boy. 
uh, you could be corrupted, you know what I'm saying, spiritually, because good hearted would mean that um, you wouldn't sell your people poison and shit like that. No one, but you don't, you don't look at it as poison. You look at it because really in the street, poison is looked at like gold. Um, if you allow me, if you'll give me the poison for free, I'll thank you to no end. Uh, if you uh, talk to a crackhead, give a crackhead a whole 50 slab for free, oh, uh, you pretty much like God to that crackhead. The crackhead doesn't see it as you just, or oh, that's how a lot of, you know, that's how you can kill a fiend with the heroin and shit like that. Give them some heroin and shit like that, knowing what the fuck they're going to do with it. You can even tell them, this shit potent. I don't, don't fuck with this shit too heavy. That shit too potent. Oh, it's all good. You'll never hear from that motherfucker again. Uh, but, so I, I, I guess there is no good hearted drug dealer. Maybe. I mean, if uh, it depends on, because I we talking about weed now. You know what I'm saying? We'll get off that. So, you've picked who it is you want to be with because the streets say that the nigga that you fucking with is that nigga. That nigga go get some, always got that money on him. You ain't never got to worry about this, 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 whatever. So now you make that nigga your baby daddy because you want to be linked to this person. Never mind the fact that he didn't have to do this prison sentence. Look like he going back to prison. He got an open case. Beefing with these nigga across. They already had a, a shootout over here. Fuck all that shit. I'm with a solid nigga. So now when Megan Thee Stallion come on, you can really, you know what I'm saying, talk with the words for real like that. You know what I'm saying? My nigga ain't no hoe. Whatever the fuck. After the baby's born, you go out this hoe because you want to be seen. There's too many fucking apps to where you don't even if you felt like okay I'm just I'm gonna just do this for a lick if you wasn't into this hood rat life you would never go nowhere near this nigga because you know he's not living with a a um uh, he doesn't want to live long he doesn't want to be free long he doesn't give a fuck about his life. It's obvious he doesn't because he puts it on the line every day. At any point, at any day in the streets. That's why you have so much fun in the streets. Because at any fucking day, it can be over with. Whether it be a fucking fed charge or a straight bullet or a, a, a direct bullet. Any day could be the day. So you have fun every day like it's your last. Get as high as you're going to get. Fuck as many holes you want. And that's how niggas fuck up their life so bad. When I came out, like I said, it took me damn near three years just to get all my legal shit together. Like, driver license, ID, just all, the, so, all this shit you like because you don't need that shit in the street. You don't need shit in the street. And you ticket here, fuck this ticket, uh, and all this fucking bullshit ass warrants and shit like that. And, uh, they, they, didn't put a, they didn't put a warrant out, so now that, that fucking got your goddamn license suspended. And I suspended for a year, so you got to wait. Took me three years, and I, I was feeling like I was fixing shit that a whole nother person fucked up. Like, what the fuck? Look at all this shit I gotta fix. So that's how you live. Like, why? Don't, I'm not going to the DMV as a street nigga. I'm not the fuck. I'm not. I might not be alive tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You trying three months this and, and come at the court and, and the, I'm not coming. What the fuck? I'm going to court for? Ain't no time to waste like that. I get this shit up right fast. You know what I'm saying? We going out tonight. Every night. So, you dealing with somebody who don't want to live long, obviously. Actions speak louder than words. If this was a money grab or if you just wasn't a fucking hood rat, you would not be around that shit. You would not be in close quarters with this shit that is counterproductive to what you want it to be. Him and his lifestyle was conducive to you and yours. He was all that you were. You were the female version of him and the child was going to be the fucking same. <clears throat> the blessing out of this is now with the um, believe it or not believe it or not 
now, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it. I ain't going to say it. But just imagine what the fuck I'm going to say. But because you were in love with that lifestyle just as much as he was, this is the outcome. The outcome is death destruction pain there is no good way out of this shit there is no good trend there is is that 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 like i told you the last time that you you had a quote unquote street legend was in 1995 there's too much technology there is no crime that you're going to get away with at this point the streets are a fucking trap they are a fucking trap because you will not come out of there. Every nigga around you has a wire on. The other motherfucker got a criminal body cam with his motherfucking, with all this shit because you just got to show all the dope and money. Tell me, or just in your mind, just in your mind right now, you know, you got niggas in your, your hood and shit like that. The, the street nigga right now, I want you to come back six months from now and tell me how he doing. Niggas don't get them two-year runs and them four-year runs no more. You get six months at the most out here. And it's over with. Because just like with Rallo and this goddamn boy, Dunky Wild, who just told everything. Rallo supposed to get out. Dunky Wild, Dunky Wild turned fucking state fucking property. He's a fucking witness now. Now the nigga gonna have to do ten. Now you gotta now just like the six nine shit. Once the somebody on the inside take the goddamn deal to get the fuck out. Now everybody gotta take deal because you know you got a motherfucking insider. You can't beat that. Somebody on the inside that's testifying. Yeah, we was right here, right here. They got the pictures. It's over with. Closed case. Snitches aren't punished anymore. Streets street codes aren't um, mandated. Nor are they um, enforced. So it's just everybody running wild. What's to say this nigga didn't fucking testify on one of these motherfuckers people? That's how wild the streets is. What to say? What's to fucking say this motherfucker wasn't an undercover fucking agent? It's real fucking jack boys that are state fucking witnesses working off their goddamn time from the street. Still robbing. You can't win out here. So when I hear songs, when I hear bitches, when I hear niggas promoting this street shit, I, I have no other thought but to think you're working for the government. Why the fuck would you promote this shit at this point? I'm good, y'all. The only reason you rap niggas made it out is because they they picked you out of a big ass basket of motherfuckers that rap. And they, that's all they just. And y'all motherfuckers getting picked out the street, so you ain't dying or going to prison for them charges. You're going to die and go to prison for rap charges. Name me a rapper that I've brought to your motherfucking attention that's doing well right now. Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, 6 9 ah, just keep going. Everybody fucked up. How do you succeed at this point? Can't do trap music and win. Rallo, Finesse, two times. And everybody else is about to get their opportunity. The only way that you can win by shaping the fuck up, getting the fuck out the streets, biting a bullet, and using your mind. You can't use your mind until your mind wakes the fuck up. As long as you're doing dope, your mind is asleep. Give a fuck what dope it is. All them good ass ideas you have while you smoking that goddamn weed, my nigga. All them good ass ideas, don't none of them come to fruition. Why not? Why is your business not off the ground? You a toker. 
You a good smoker. Tell me about Snoop Dogg and fucking Wiz Khalifa. I want to hear about you afterward, though. I want to hear about you afterwards. You can give me all these good examples of motherfuckers who smoke weed and they doing very well. Now tell me about your life. Okay. So this is why we, we can play this on either side. If we fuck with this Megan Thee Stallion, Suki Hana, all this city girls and, and this gang, gang, gang shit. Let's fuck with it. This is the gang shit I'm talking about, nigga. Shit. This is shit I'm talking about. Shit. That's gangsta as it get right there, ain't it? That's gang. Hold on, they got it yet? Oh, yeah. They got it yet? That's gangsta as it get right there. Lay everything down. Man, woman, and child. Lay it down. Lay it the fuck down. And that's your first memories as a child. Is your mama being took off in a fucking car. Bleeding. Look at the child. Look at the child. Look how the child stand up. What just happened to my mama? It's gangsta as it get right there. So... I don't feel sorry for none of you motherfuckers. If you in the street, you know what you in the street for. If you love this hood, gangster shit, this what it is. I'm going to keep reporting on it just so you can see it for those who are on the fence. No one escapes. Bitch, if you believe that oh, no, I, I'm all good because I'm a girl. I'm just, I'm just his baby mama. When a nigga come in that house, if he really about his business, he not going to leave no fucking witness. So that means anyone in that motherfucker, if you got a child over five years old, that means that child also. I have no sympathy for a dope man bitch. Because the dope man know what he into. Ain't no fucking way you the dope man at this level and you don't know that at any fucking time that dope can get kicked. And it can be, and you better hope that it's a fucking law. And if it's a law, that means your life over. You got to give all this shit back. Now you broke square one. So there is no winning. And I'm telling you, there's no winning. They can tell you, yeah, nigga, trap money, trap money. Trap money just got a whole mother splacked out this bitch. Because you had to have that trap money. Because his his this nigga... The nigga who baby mama got killed, he felt like they was more important than the nigga he testified on. And it was all good until some niggas actually enforced this street code and laid some down. Now it's all fucked up. Who's fucked up? We either gonna do this gangster shit or we not, man. If you with this gangster shit, ain't no ain't no tears. Ain't no fucking tears. And I just I just wanted to be understood, bitch, that goes for you too. If you are a dope man's bitch, you bragging about it, got the nails, you got the, the latest fucking weave installed and you shitting on hoes. You shitting until you shitting on your motherfucking self because you can't stop the bleeding. And that's like the first shit to go. You just lose control of your bowels. In front of your child. So you gotta you gotta explain to me, ladies, who do you love more? What do you love more? Don't get no sympathy from me. Big Fast Podcast, I'm Ayo Canseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. See you on the minute. Love.